Welcome to my Monday moanings. Yay! Over the weekend, it has become legal in the UK for same-sex marriages. And hang on one moment, let me just check out the window. No fire, no brimstone, no hell is breaking loose. It seems like no one's really bothered. However, there is taking it one step too far and personally having a gay musical. I think even some of the gay people are saying, wow, that's gay. Fair play for doing it in seven weeks. I mean, I don't see anybody else creating a musical in seven weeks, putting it all together getting it done and getting married at the same time whilst involving all your relatives and family and friends to take part in the musical, to come to the wedding and the after party and to also suffer the hangover the morning after. One funny story I heard this morning, an Ethiopian farmer is suing the British government for foreign aid before you start screaming and going on about foreigners, immigrations, foreign aid, our government and everything else, the Ethiopian farmer has been granted the permission to sue the UK government because we give foreign aid, well we give 0.7% of our net gross as foreign aid to other countries and we also give some to Ethiopia. However, this money goes in the back pockets of the corrupt politicians of Ethiopia, meaning the farmer hasn't received a bare penny. And this court case isn't for him to get money. He doesn't care if he makes money. He's just doing it to prove a point that this is happening and that this is going on and something or someone has to do something about it. Fair play, mate. Good way to stand up and make your point. Also, in the last couple of hours, it has been said that the missing Malaysian plane has not yet been found. They recovered parts of what they thought was the missing Malaysian plane, but it turns out that it wasn't. It was just some wreckage from another crash or incident that no one knows about. But my condolences do go out to the families and the people who knew anyone that is still now missing, at least before you had some closure to what had happened to them. On the other hand, there is still hope that they are still alive. I mean, before you thought they were dead and you were starting to cope with it. So, there is some hope that they're still alive, but if they're not, then, well, I, my condolences. I hope that this plane is found soon, but, not every government wants to give away their satellite positions, so not many images coming through. The only navy allowed into this body of water is the Australian navy, and the body of water they are searching is 30 times the size of England, so the search will take very long, and could take a fair few. But on a personal note, one thing that has really made me moan over the weekend is Facebook buying the Oculus Rift. Not so much Facebook buying it, but Oculus Rift selling it. They sold it for £2 billion worth of money, shares, profits and bonds and so on. So they've still got a little bit of say in the company. But why sell it to Facebook? I was looking forward to some amazing 3D games like first person shooters, puzzle games, sports games. So many games could have come out in the 3D virtual world of the Oculus Rift and now it's going to be a 3D social networking platform. A 3D social networking platform is called Real Life. It's called a conversation face to face with your mates down the pub or down the club or down around their house. It doesn't really matter. Ah, oh, I am very unimpressed with them. These have been my moans for the Monday. Let me know your Monday moans in the comments section. Also check out the rest of my channel for some great videos. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to enjoy, share, like and subscribe. Until next time, take care and bye.
thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. 